Hey everybody, I'm Sarah, Lonesome Glory, and it is Briarfest week! <laughs> this is hopefully going to be a fairly short video. I just want to let you guys know what my plans are and my family's plans are for Briarfest. So we're going to leave tomorrow morning. Um, it's Monday right now. We're going to leave Tuesday morning. We will get to Lexington on Wednesday, and that's when we do a lot of our setup and get the room ready to go, the pineapple room. Uh, Thursday, we'll do whatever sounds like fun in Kentucky, and then open the pineapple room sometime in the afternoon. If you guys are going to be in Kentucky and you want to know when to show up, uh, watch my Instagram. I'm going to put a sign on the door we usually do, but any signs on the door or estimates, uh, I will give better estimates on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me there for updates. So Thursday, we open the room Friday, they open Briarfest. So we will do the early morning at the park and I'm not sure what else we'll, we'll kind of see and do. It just depends on how we're feeling, uh, towards the end of the morning. Uh, Saturday is also at the park mostly, and then Sunday is packing up and at the park. Um, we will be open on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights in room 128 at the Clarion. So make sure you swing by and say hey. In the past, I have given out little resin tokens if uh, people come and see me and tell me that they watch the channel. This year we're doing something a little different. We are giving out friendship bracelets. This one's a little big because this one was actually made for Khaleesi. So <laughs> she got her very own. But we will be giving these out. I would love to trade too if you guys are bringing bracelets to Kentucky. So we have a lot of bracelets to, to give away or to trade. Um, so that's what we're doing instead of resin. That doesn't mean I don't have resin things at the park. And this time it's a little different. It's actually quite a lot different. I don't know how many of you guys know. I don't know if I've talked about it on the channel before, but I volunteer with a PATH International Writing Therapy called Horses of Hope. I volunteer at their Kansas location and I have for very close to a decade now. <laughs> which is, is a lot. That's a long time. One of the horses at Horses of Hope is named Copper. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen pictures of Copper before. He is a halflinger. He is a mischievous, sweet boy, and I love him dearly. Copper last week colicked. He's 20 or a little older. So they took him from the Kansas location to a an equine hospital to help get him better and, and to save my, my special boy. And they did. He's on the mend. He's home now. He is doing great. But Horses of Hope is a nonprofit organization, and they rely mostly on donations to keep the place running. Copper's hospital bills were just shy of $4,000. It's a lot of money, especially kind of an unexpected expense. And frankly, Horses of Hope needs help any, from anyone who is willing to give it. So this year at Briarfest in the Pineapple Room, we will have a donations jar to help pay for, for Copper, to pay the vet. And um, if you make a donation, to help Copper in the room, we have resin things, not horse resins, but resin items that I have made that we will give to you in exchange for your donation. Um, so make sure when you come in or if you see us at the park, you ask us about Copper. We'll have a, probably have a few of them with us at the park too. That way, if we run into you and you want to help out Horses of Hope and help out my sweet boy, we can we can take care of that. We're also doing one more thing in the room besides our usual wheeling and dealing and trading and negotiating. We are going to have stickers to give out to people in exchange for a story. Hi, baby. Are you going to help? 
Hi, you got help? As many of you know, early this year, our hobby lost one of the greats. Andrea Garden, our Briar History diva, was a phenomenal person and someone that I was very lucky to call a friend. Um, you've probably seen a couple of pictures of her floating around wearing a shirt that says, ooh, shiny. I was with her when she bought the shirt. Actually, I have a matching one. Uh, we both thought that it was absolutely perfect for Briar Fest and for model horses. And we've worn them together on a couple of different, uh, different dates, different times. In honor of Andrea, I would like to create kind of a memorial video of all of the folks at Briarfest who loved her and had amazing interactions with her over the years. And just, I want to be able to share that and kind of bring some, some joy to all of us to hear about the fantastic things she did. So to that end, I have made stickers that are like the shirts that she and I got together that say, ooh, shiny. Uh, they're smaller than this. This is um, actually one of the mistakes. I made them way too big because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> but I have stickers um, that say Ooh Shiny and come into the room and tell us your favorite memory of Andrea and we'll give you a sticker. I would love to film you telling us the story so that I can put it in the video, but you don't have to. That's not a requirement. Um, if you want to write down your memory and give it to me so that I can read it later, I would also love that. Um, and if you're just not okay with sharing that or if your memory is something private, that's okay too. The stickers are really just a way for the hobby, at least for me, to help the hobby remember such an icon. So come to the Pineapple Room and ask us about Andrea or ask to tell us about Andrea and we will make sure that you get a sticker. I don't have a ton. I uh, ultimately kind of had to give up on printing them. Uh, I was running very behind, but I think I've got enough to get through. So come into our room. We've got lots and lots of things going on, as you can tell. Make sure that you're trading bracelets or picking up your bracelets. If you would like to donate to a phenomenal horse. Please uh, make a donation for copper and we will set you up with uh, a resin token of your choice. And if you want to talk to us about Andrea, we would love to hear it and make sure you say something about the stickers. I'll, I'll probably post something online if I run out so that you guys kind of know. Even if I run out, I'd still love to hear your stories. Make sure you swing by the pineapple room after we open on Thursday. It is so close, you guys. We leave about 24 hours from while I'm filming this. So I'm really excited. I have a lot to do and I'm dressed up, which you guys can't really tell since I'm seated, but I have to go to work today. So <laughs> I am going to go do the my, my actual job so that I can get through the day and get home and come see my favorite people in Kentucky. I am so excited to see you all there. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss my Kentucky updates. Follow me on Instagram because I'll post more frequent updates on there during Briarfest weekend. And please make sure if you see me or you see Mom and Aunt Linda in the hallways, or you swing by the pineapple room, please let me know if you watch this channel. I love getting to meet you guys and I am so excited to get to see you all just later in this week. Happy Briarfest! <laughs>